how is everybody feeling this evening? Hope everybody's okay. I'm feeling okay actually for a change, not too bad. Um, I've had a pretty rough week or so. We've, we've been house sitting for my mum, we're finally home now. As you can see, back in our Hobbit Hall. But yeah, we've been at my mum's for the last couple of weeks, which has been fine. Uh, but we had a couple of run-ins while we were there. I ran out of morphine and I had a subluxation of my hip joint, which was a pretty bad combination because, you know, a subluxation of a joint and you know, morphine equals ambulance. <clears throat> With all that said and done, there was something I wanted to share because I found this really useful. It's something that I, I don't know whether other people know about um, or whether this is something I discovered by accident. But basically, when I have a joint that subluxes, so subluxation is like a movement of a joint um, rather than a full dislocation of a joint. They just feel wrong for a really long time. Like, since my shoulder first subluxed on the 7th of December last year, which was coincidentally my birthday, since that happened, it's never really felt right since. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I have like good days with it, but it seems to go a lot now. It's like all of a sudden it has like, like that one time it happens and then it it always happens from that point and it's, it's a bit weird. People with these conditions often have quite thin or quite easily irritated skin, quite sensitive skin. I've had problems with my skin for years. I am very pale. I have always been deathly pale. Um, I've had, I had severe acne growing up. Anyway, a couple of days ago, uh, my shoulder subluxed. So um, uh, I had to put some of this on which is <clears throat> Hyperfix Tape. This is, this woman cracks me up so much. I shouldn't really say cracks me up, should I? You should. <laughs> Literally you cracks me up. <laughs> Literally cracks me up. But look at her. Who's using Hyperfix Tape and being that relaxed around it? <laughs> I don't think I've ever subluxed a joint and been like, oh, hey. You want to come and strap me up? I don't think that's ever happened. But anyway. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I use this as Hyperfix. So there's another tape that's really similar to this called Katie Tape or Kinesology Tape or Kins Tape, which is a similar one, but this is the NHS version. Um, so obviously it's a little bit <laughs> cheap. Not that I'm not grateful, I can't use it, but it is a little bit cheap. Um, so this is what it looks like. It is a sheet of adhesive paper, basically, um, that has a strip down the back of it where you can oops, where you can peel it. So that's what it looks like on the inside. And what I normally do when I have a subluxation of a joint is I cut it off to sort of like that sort of length, like here, and then I'll fold it in half. So I shall cut some off and show you. So I'll use it at some point, I'm sure, anyway. I just use a pair of scissors and cut it off. It's nice because it's got lines on it so you can measure all the sheets the same size as well. This roll, for some reason, has been cut by the company really badly as well. Because look at this. It's like, can you see that it's slightly longer? <laughs> on one side, normally it's the same length, like, all the way down. <laughs> NHS! But yeah, kinesiology tape's really expensive. It's like 12 99 a roll and I... Minimum. And I cannot afford that regularly. KT tape to me is like a special treat. Like if I'm feeling bougie I'll be like oh let's get some KT tape for my joints <laughs> which comes pre like into pre-cut sizes and everything. Now there's a couple of downsides to both. I find KT tape not to be as adhesive as this stuff but I find KT tape more moldable as like a second skin whereas this I find a bit like sticky paper which uh, KT tape you can sort of when you get a strip like this of KG tape, they come about this length. You can um, cut it up the middle, so like down here, and you can put the top bit against the joint, and then the two like fishtail bits at the bottom. You can sort of bend them round the muscle to sort of create a a, a, a support for the joint. But with this stuff, oh, you see, I just managed to do this. I'm sat on my computer desk. Maybe you managed to see this, but see how it's puckered up here and it doesn't bend very well it's sort of just like like i say it's sticky paper basically um <clears throat> and it's a bit really fidgety like one one wrong move with it it's like sellotape you know you, you, if you do it wrong you just screw it up and get another piece and start again because <clears throat> nightmare but anyway
anyway, it is, it's not very pliable, I have to say. Oh, look, see, look, this is what I was talking about. It's just stuck to itself. So, but anyway, pros of this stuff is it's real sticky. Um, so it, 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 it does stay. With this comes a slight problem of people with EVS who have quite thin skin um, end up with a lot of skin problems. Like I've got a bit of a rash going on here at the minute. Don't know why, no idea why. Um, when I first became poorly, they queried lupus because I get the butterfly rash across my face and across that I get like a little rash in here. Don't know what causes it. Um, to debate it, well, trying to query whether I've got POTS syndrome, plural tachycardia syndrome, POTS. Basically a problem with your heart. Um, I don't know, so I'm still going through my diagnoses with a lot of it at the minute, although I have had mobility EDS and diagnosed arthritis in certain areas. We're still going through a diagnosis with it. But anyway, I'm getting way, 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 way off track. So my point was, there's something that I found to be incredibly useful. And this is like my personal hack for if you use this kind of tape, any kind of tape like this. And then I have another amazing thing that my friend told me it can do as well. It's two things. So any kind of adhesion, um, like any kind of adhesive glue like this, when I put it on my skin when I sublaxed yesterday, it's bruised me real bad like all the way around the back. It, it's pretty, pretty bad. Normally, once I've had this tape on, it leaves like a, like a residue on your skin and you can get in the shower and you can scrub and scrub and scrub and it ain't going nowhere. Like, it is just not coming off. You know when you buy new pair of shoes, you take the label off, it just gets sticky bits of fluff on there, but it's not going anywhere. Which FYI, for anything like that, you can use uh, nail varnish remover and it works amazingly. But don't do that on your skin. I mean, you can use it on your skin, but you shouldn't. But for a safer option, if you do have this kind of ripping, tearing, bruising of the skin, I don't know if you can see that properly. Oh. Like this kind of, you can see here exactly where the tape was, like the, li <laughs> the lines of it going around my shoulder. So I bought these two things. I've been looking for something for a while, okay? Both of these products were bought for completely different reasons. But I have found work amazingly for getting any kind of sticky adhesive off your skin. So like any time I've had like plasters on or anything after like surgery, like when you have like, you know, the sticky tapes to put on you and things like that. These two things, mm, I tell you, smell amazing as well, which is incredible. So this is, the, this, they've got pros and cons as well. My friend also, uh, this is a body shop product. Um, it's the, the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. Right. Now my friend works with Body Shop. And she gave me the other idea for this. This stuff, I think, is about £7 a tin, I think. Something along those lines. Which I know sounds a lot, but a little bit of it goes a long, long way. So I've had this now for, got to be six months. And I use it constantly, and look, I've sort of absolutely loads left. You get, how much you get? There's the, you get 19 mil in a tub. And it smells incredible. I can't tell you how good it smells. I wish smell of vision was a thing. But it smells like, well, chamomile. <laughs> like a chamomile cup of tea. Um, but it's got, it smells like buttery and kind of like, you just want to eat it, but don't eat, don't eat. I mean, you can eat it if you want to. I wouldn't advise it. But you could if you wanted, I guess. Please don't sue me if you do eat this and get sick. I'm not advising it. I'm just saying you can like, you can eat anything if you're brave enough. I'm just, anyway, I'm getting off track here. Right, so, <clears throat> this stuff, and then also this stuff. Now, this is the Elbow Grease Moisturising Bar from Lush, okay? So, two fairly well, well, you know, known, well known worldwide companies. Um, both different purposes. This one is a makeup remover. So, what this is essentially meant to do is you get a cotton pad. I use the extra large baby cotton pad things. You take a cotton pad, you rub the cotton pad into it, and you get it like sort of dampish with the with the moisture of it. Um, and then you use it like a face wipe. And then once you've like soaked it all onto your skin and wiped it off, you can then either wash your face to get it all off. I use the seaweed cleanser and the al uh, yeah, aloe, excuse me, the seaweed 
sorry, the aloe cleanser and the seaweed toner after I use this. So I don't wash my face, I use this to melt my makeup off. It's like, I'm, they say it melts makeup on the thing on the back, which it genuinely does. Uh, apply to dry face and massage into skin, rinse off or remove with a warm wet cloth. Dermal clinical knowledge tested. Uh, yeah, basically uh, it, it melts makeup <clears throat> is the best way I can describe it. But it also melts like sticky goop. I don't, I know why, it's because it's got shea butter in it, so I get that, so you could probably use shea butter to do this as well, haven't actually tried that, so like palms butter would probably work. Anyway, the other one is the elbow grease from Lush, and this is a tattoo bar, so what this is for is like when you get a new tattoo done, when I got my sweet, oh, what are this? Let's see if it gets that off. <laughs> Oh my god, it did. <laughs> I had a mark on my wrist, it's gone. Um, yeah, anyway, when I got my Sweet Peas... Can you see that? When I, got, when I got my Sweet Peas tattooed last year, and my rose on my finger, um, I always used Bepanthen and things like that on tattoos, and I always found that the colour didn't quite pop the way I wanted it to. Um, and it generally didn't really soothe the, like, the itchy sting you get. So I went into Lush, because Lush do something for everything. They literally do, and all their products work. I've never had a bad Lush product, ever, personally. But uh, basically it says, the top tip is got ink, glide this bar over the tattoos to make colour and detail pop. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my camera, because it's only my iPad camera, but we'll, we'll do it on my mandala, because it's the easiest one to do. So that's, that's my mandala. So if, generally if I'm going on a night out, I, I do this maybe like once a week. I'll just give it a quick rub over and then just rub it in and it again smells incredible absolutely smells incredible but it just gives your tattoo that it just makes it look darker and like more vibrant and just better I don't know how but again same thing get a bit of that whack it on the area that's got the glue on it rub it with a cotton pad comes off instantly who knew like I've literally been going around with sticky shoulders for like the last six months because I genuinely didn't know how to get the stuff off like I was like scrubbing in the shower but obviously when it's burning your skin like this you don't want to rub it too much because you don't aggravate your skin anymore and then you think Jesus but this stuff because it's got shea butter and chamomile and lots of different things in it in the two products they soothe the skin whilst removing the sticky whatever that you get on your skin honestly cannot recommend this enough it's not not in any way sponsored because I am literally I have 18 followers <laughs> I am in no way sponsored by these companies, but this is literally just something I found. Now, my friend who works for Body Shop also told me that the chamomile stuff gets crayon off of wallpaper. What? Like, if your kid scribbles on the wall, a bit of this, on a pad, comes straight off. Honestly, <laughs> miracle. Miracle creams, both of them, both incredible. This also as well, just to let you know, this has synthetic waxes in it, whereas this is all natural because it's from Lush. Yeah, so depending on your preference on what you want to put on your body, you've got something for both. It literally lasts forever, but try not to hold it too much. You can keep it in the fridge, because if you hold it too much, it's, it starts to melt. <laughs> so that was my little hack that I wanted to share because I find it really useful for not only removing the tacky residue left from these kind of tapes, uh, on these wounds, uh, on these joints and stuff. Um, but it's also really good for if the skin has bubbled or peeled um, or had a reaction to the tape, which is really common. This is something that really helps. It's got lots of things in it that help the damaged area, but also get the sticky goop off. So that's my little video. I hope you didn't draw on too much. I probably did, because I always do, because <clears throat> I don't want to shut up, basically. If you do find this useful, if you do find this video somehow, and you do find this useful, please let me know, because I think it's really useful. Let me know if it doesn't work on your skin, because if it doesn't, I, I need to stop telling people to use it, because uh, <laughs> I recommend this to everybody. So if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, I'll let me know. Yeah, stay as happy and pain-free as possible. Um, please share and pass along my hack. I don't know if anybody else knows about this, but uh, if they don't, let them know. And I'll speak to you all soon. Mm -hmm. Stay happy and as painful as possible. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.